I wanted to share some more stuff about that uh, that narcissistic, psychopath, sociopath type personalities. Um, keep something in mind, and I know this might be hard for a lot of people, but they chances are they never really loved you. Say if anyone was dealing with a, uh, a psychopath, a narcissistic sociopath, chances are they never really loved you the way you ought to be loved, right? Because keep in mind, they have a hard to, you can't love someone and say you love someone and don't have empathy for people. And so you remember what I said, you know, as we're developing this character, um, narcissistic people have an issue with empathy. They don't know what that even is. They don't know what empathy is. But when someone is saying that they have empathy, they do everything they can to recreate that in themselves and give the illusion that they have empathy for people. But chances are, I know it might be hard for a lot of people to take. So I know a lot of people are invested in psychopaths, uh, narcissistic type personalities because they're so good at it. They're experts. You know, they're expert at being what you want them to be. Right? And the more you say to them, I need you to be more sensitive. Well, they're going to find out what that means. And then guess what? They're going to warp themselves and be more sensitive. And, or you can say, you need to start listening to, you know, they, they do every, whatever they can to keep you trapped with them. But the main thing you need to get through is they probably never ever, you know, okay. I can almost guarantee 99% of the time they never loved you, even though they may have said it. And that's hard to take. All right, because I've had that kind of stuff said to me. And not, not that it was hard for me to take, but it was like um, the ease of people to say that um, they love you when they're hurting you. Uh, they love you when they're trying to destroy you or they love you when they're trying to kill you. You know what I mean? So it's, it's it, it could be heartening uh, to know that uh, those type of, situations can exist and that you're involved with someone acting like that and carrying on like that and lying to you and um you know but you do need to keep yourself safe and uh keep yourself uh, always in the company of somebody else when you tr when you're dealing with the with those type of personalities because i can like i said i can guarantee you 99 percent they never really loved you only thing they love is the fact that they're able to manipulate you and they can get whatever they need out of you, get their needs met. You know, they'll have a place to stay in most cases and, you know, using up all your money. Because that's usually the case, too, with psychopath narcissistics. Someone else is usually funding them. You know what I mean? They're not necessarily making any money at all. They just know how to manipulate people to do their dirty deeds and give you an illusion that they are, you know, rolling in the dough, so to speak. But what they're doing is rolling in your dough. Because <laughs> they, like, they like to get with somebody that already has something. And then, you know, because that's what happened with me. Uh, you know, I was paying all the bills and doing this and that and the other. And the other person didn't, weren't doing anything but lying, claiming they were looking for a job. But then as soon as I quit that high paying job, whoa, whoa. That's when you saw a difference in people and how they act. Okay, and think also about sociopath, psychopath, narcissistic. As soon as you, when you need them the most, that's when they seem to, you can't find them. Has that ever happened to you? God, they used to piss me off a lot. You know, when I needed these, you know, these so-called people, when they tell me they'll be there when I need them, I call them, can't find them. You know what I mean? That's, that's happened to me. And that's happened to a lot of people. You know, it's like, um... Hmm. You know, didn't you say you would do this? And didn't you say, so you'll see a change in them a lot when you, so, so they'll, they'll be allowed to say whatever the fuck they want to say to you. You know, when, when times are good, but oh baby, when times are hard. Okay. That's, and that's how you know. And that's why it's so painful to a lot of people. Cause you, why would you expect somebody to, to leave you or dump you or not be around when you need them the most? See, so I'm so thankful. I grew up in a household where my dad, when my dad committed to someone, he committed to all of us the best he could. Now, you know, you know, because um, 
you know, you don't want to get to a point where, you know, um, if you're committing to someone where, you know, you feel like you're being used and abused. And we didn't do that to my dad, child. He knew that. My mom didn't do it to him either. But, uh, so again, with the sociopath, psychopath, narcissists, chances are they never loved you at all. All right. And for some people that can be a painful thing to, to hear, you know, because they may have said it, they may have swept you off your feet. You remember I said that sweeping you off your feet? They probably gave you a concussion <laughs> when you was, when you was flip, you know flipped off your feet, and you couldn't believe you know they're bringing you flowers and you know just carrying on. And they usually do that in front of people too. They love to display all that shit in front of people as well. But then when you get behind closed doors, they're ignoring you. They're tired. They don't want to be bothered. You know what I mean? So. There's a lot to consider, but you are responsible for, you know, uh, making yourself safe and trusting yourself. You know, a lot of people don't like to trust themselves for some reason and doubt themselves. And be careful who you talk to about this stuff, too, because a lot of people just don't know what the hell they're talking about, actually. And then before you know it, you know, they'll say, well, what? you overreacting. You know, you ever heard that? <laughs> you just overreacting. That's a good man right there. Or oh, that's a good woman. You know, all this crap. <laughs> oh, gosh. And I know so much about it because I, cause I, I, I've been around it. Okay. I've been, exp I have experienced it. And I've done research. And, uh, and I, I'm so fascinated. You know, I've always been fascinated by people and their personalities as well and how we can lie so easily. Because, you know, I told you we have pathological liars in our family. So, but, you know, I don't want to bring that up <laughs> too much because I don't, I don't want to offend anybody. But, yes, we had all of that going on. And it's not, this is not about offending people. It's just p providing information, theories and uh, opinions, entertainment purposes only. So keep that in mind. So, so yes, that might be a revelation to people who have dealt with uh, psychopaths, psychopaths, narcissistics, you know, whatever you, you know, I call them narcissistics, but you know, these are the acute, they're acute, A-C-U-T-E. I mean, and they're very good and charming, honey. They'll, you know, they'll say anything you want them to say and, um, I mean, they're just good at what they do because they know who they are. They know that they are a masquerade. They know that they are, you know, manipulating and getting what they want. And that's, hey, and that's that's their whole M.O., as they say. That's, the, I mean, that's their reality. Like I said, usually they don't have as much money as they claim they do. Because usually the women are funding them. Chances are they are cheating on you. Uh, chances are... Uh, you know, chances are they can be, you know, um, see, and a lot of things also, they don't like to put their names on things. Sometimes they don't want to be joint or be, um, you know, they just, they just don't want to have no ties to really anyone. They always want somebody else to be like pushed forward. You know, if they have children, they'll push their children forward to handle their businesses and stuff like that so that they can be um, almost wash their hands of, you know, all their nefariousness and manipulation and whatnot, you know? So they're good. They're, they're, it, I mean, it's a great character to, to create whatever you want to create with it because of the depth, the depthness of their, um, their fraud and deception and manipulation. And, um, you know, it's, um, you know, it's pretty bad. And we, we have them all over the place. It's more so in politics. Some in religion, too, now. Some in religion. And then just in the general uh, population. Business people as well, you know. So, so get, yeah, so get yourself familiar with that, those kind of personalities. But first, know who you are. You know, know who you are. And, um. You know, and don't be, and, and you know, don't be afraid to um, to say, you know what? I just, I just don't understand. I just don't understand. And that, and that's a great place to be. 
because then you'll get information on how to understand things better. You know, if you're just willing and open and opening up your, you know, your mind and your and your your creativity to allow this kind of information to come through, because it is difficult. Okay. All right. So I think that's enough for that for now. And then, um, you know, of course, once any any other information comes through, I'll definitely share. But I want to share that part that you know. Uh, love has nothing to do with it. When you're dealing with a, sarc- uh, a n- narcissistic person, love has nothing to do with it. All right, and you need to you need to come to grips with that and be accepting of that. Okay, peace and love.